Hello and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Unknown, where we have just successfully completed a mission which has brought peace to the United States, relatively speaking. Re Europe isn't looking so good at the moment, it's yellows and oranges, but no one's panicking. Canada and Argentina are panicking, and Mexico's not far away. But as far as things go, we're in a really good state of affairs. We've got a, a satellite coming soon, which may well fix some of this, at least. Let's have a look at what's going on here. So we've got Brazil, Egypt, South Africa, and Nigeria all gone. Successful military incursion by unknown forces in the United States stops alien abduction in progress. Yay for us. India and Australia are gone. And authorities in Japan are citing unusual atmospheric conditions as the cause of unexplained saucers. lights in <laughs> several major cities. Way. Pretty good. Alright, let's go on. Now, we've got a drone autopsy. Two days. Three days of satellite. Seven days scope upgrade. Which is going to be pretty good. Twelve days council report. Fourteen days satellite. Twenty days another satellite. So, on the whole... Things aren't going too bad. So let's just jump back to Mission Control. Actually, before I do, I'll quickly show you the people we've renamed. We only had one person who was eligible for renaming, really. And that's Island Cormac. We want, well, I'm going to continue with the whole I'm not going to rename someone until they're a squaddy simply because their survivability is so low until they are. But uh, I have changed some nicknames. We now have Lieutenant Johnny Ma, Spider Ma. And... Uh, Lieutenant Spartan Cupcake 300. I know, not very original, but I, I just couldn't think of anything else. Forgive me. So, let's go to Mission Control and just let's see what we can see. Yay, Island Cormac has returned to active duty. And the drone autopsy is complete. Let's check this out. So the code name is Arachnid. I see I am not the only one lacking in creativity for names at the moment. The drones we've disassembled seem to have a singular purpose, to repair the alien technology, including its robotic counterparts. Although they act as robotic medics, the lack of any kind of offensive weaponry, we did discover a large explosive charge is located deep within the substructure it draws on as a power source. Um, so these things can't actually attack us except by being next to us when they die, I guess, or something? With this and several of the alien devices, I continue to be amazed by what their creators have been able to accomplish. Dr. Shen believes it may be possible to hack these drones, allowing us to utilize them for our own purposes. Ooh, that sounds pretty interesting. Further details as to this specimen's complete combat capabilities may be available in the field, in, if targeted in the unit analysis view, which is almost entirely useless. But we do have another foundry project, Drone Capture. We're confident that our arc throwers could be upgraded to allow the capture of enemy drones, giving us control of the flying drones for the remainder of the combat mission. Wow. That's pretty impressive, in fairness. Though, well, I mean, unless they can... As far as I understand, they're, they're robotic medics, so they're not really going to be able to heal our troops. We'll have to experiment with them and find out. And we don't have enough alloys to do either of these. It amuses me that I need more allies to research Titan armor than to design an entire new fighter jet. That's just crazy. But, for now, we'll just continue our plasma rifle research. And let's head on over to engineering and see what we can see in the foundry. It's the improved arc thrower. This will just make it more likely to stun. That's four drone wrecks. And... Drone capture. Phone dro four drone wrecks as well. Confident arc throws could be upgraded. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, we just captured them, so... Uh, I don't know. That's a bit of a an unknown, whereas I really do want the improved arc thrower. So I'm probably going to go for the arc thrower first. Though this does not require alien allies. That does put it quite high up on the probability of being able to research this. So, hmm. Who knows? But for the time being, let's go back to our mission control. One day on a satellite. Let's hope it passes quietly. And yes, it does. I am totally ready to deploy it. Let's go there now. Okay. We've got Argentina. 70 monies per month. And one scientist per month. Or Canada. 
we've still got the opportunity to get the bonus there. Argentina is the last of the South American country, uh, states, countries, uh, countries it is. Um, and we'll only ever be able to get one scientist and 70 megabucks. Whereas Canada, we've still got the chance to secure all three North American countries and get the air and space bonus. That will be really worth it. And it's giving more money. So really, the, the choice is already made. Of the two, I want to go for Canada more. I've just not noticed whether the satellites will bring down panic before. So Argentina has only just panicked. I don't know if this is literally as much as it can store up the pips. This is central. I'm or receiving you. whether... What do you mean you think you saw a snake? Hmm? What the hell does that have to do with anything? Oh, that has to do with a lot, snake man. But, uh... Whether these things continue to rank up panic just beyond what we see here. So, like, Canada right now is much more panicked than Argentina, for example. If that were the case, then Argentina would be the safer bet. Because we don't know how much these satellites are going to pull it back. But uh, I'm going to go for Canada. Just It seems the better option overall. I just hope this isn't a mistake. Yes, let's launch. Please bring it down. Yes! Yes, it did! Ha-ha! It's now as bad as Mexico. I was hoping it would be down into the blue, perhaps. But no, that's that's perfectly acceptable. I'm not going to look the gift horse in the mouth. As long as nowhere else panics more than it is, then we may survive the next month. There's no guarantee we will survive the month after it, but we're in a position where we might be able to do it. They might be more excited about the new weapons than our troops are. <sighs> Well, yeah, because they just build the weapons and they shoot at targets. Our troops have to carry the weapons into combat and get shot back at. Okay. Um, well, in that case, we want to get an interceptor in North America. How much do they cost? Okay, we've got to pay 40 to get it and then 20 out of our monthly funding. That's actually a lot less than I was expecting. Let's go and sell some things. Now... Um, I'm going to sell a couple of those. Um, I don't want the thing the scientist gives. The floater courses will give us the dodge item, which I kind of want, actually, in retrospect. And this is the carapace, I believe. I just don't want that. I don't intend to put our men in a position where they're going to get in co uh, close combat. So, this should be enough. Yeah. Let's go back to the hangar. And buy one in North America. I'll be there in three days. I believe this satellite will be there in longer than that, actually. And whilst we have the chance, let's buy some more of these Dodge. No, we don't. Ah, they need 40. Okay, well, hopefully we'll get... Well, no, I think we need it. Just because I don't want to lose an intercept I just spent 40 on getting. Um... And sell 10 of this. That should give us more than enough. So back to engineering. Buy items. And let's get ourselves some dodge. Defense matrix things. There we go. That's all we need to do. Now then. Back to mission control. Three days, the new interceptor will be in North America. In, four, in a day after that, the satellite will be operational over Canada. And we'll have... Um, anti-UFO capability in North America from that point on. In five days, so one day after that, we'll get the scope upgrade, and then in four days after that, we'll get live plasma rifles. And then one day after that, council report. So it's going to be a fairly active next couple of t days, except for that break there. So let's see what we can see. Excavation oh, Canada. Okay. Sign new projects. Um... No, we don't really have anything to assign. A lot of things happened there. Uh, Israel Golf is back. Satellite operational. Has that changed anything? Does it go even down? No, it doesn't. Ah, that's a shame. Claims of an alien creature prowling the streets near the Joe Louis Arena in downtown Detroit are uh, laughed off by local residents. Oh, you fools. That's probably a chrysalid. You're all due for a horrible, explodey death when you give birth to them. Right, so... 
spend 20 bucks there, or is there anything we can build? No, not really. Not that surprising, honestly. That's the next thing I'd really like. Though I need 25 inch and 300. Wow. Yeah, you're having a laugh. There is no way in the world I'm going to be able to do that. Power generator. Um, I hope we can build one of these now. And it'll give us another five engineers. Oh, that's a very high priority then. Very high priority indeed. But we would really like it there. Damn it. Oh, no. We don't have enough time. Enough money, sorry. Okay, well, we're going to excavate that one then. And then we're going to start moving down onto the next tier. Laboratories would be good here. And another power generator, perhaps. It's a shame about that, though. More power there. Well, the steam stuff is the only real problem there because I didn't get to place that myself, so I can't really organize around it so well. But let's carry on scanning. Oh, quest from Japan. Three scatter lasers. That wow. They're ex no, they're, they're alien alloys, and we're so short on those, it's not even funny. I'm fairly certain we're not going to get to that. Oh, there we are, small scout. Oh, good, small scout. Over China. Oh, it's landed. Ooh. Well, we're obviously going to have to go. The only problem we have here is the majority of our troops are now snipers. And that's never a good thing. So let's clear everyone off, except for Johnny Mark, as we are. And, uh... Yeah, let's give you the heavy laser we've got. I believe we've got one. Yes, we do. Okay. So you're definitely coming. And... Lieutenant French Toast. So, our three lieutenants are definite. Now we build up the rest of the squad. Um, we want to give some more rookies a chance to become other uh, you know, level up squaddies. Um, let's take rookie Lima. Actually, Men. Yeah. Dapper Jester has expressed uh, an interest in being renamed. I think I mentioned this a long time ago. I just haven't had anyone for it. He mentioned recently, though, that he doesn't mind the nationality, just wants a heavy. So we'll try and do that. But if it's not a heavy, then I'm going to go ahead and rename anyway. As long as it's just not a sniper, because that's like an anti heavy. Um. Right, we'll just take one rookie, I think. Wits is still still in the doghouse. Uh, where you will stay. You're lucky that you were wounded. If it wasn't for the fact that you had to go to Medbay, you would have been flogged for your complete disregard for your squaddies uh, lives in the last mission. It wasn't just a disregard. You actively killed them, actually. Yeah, you I hope he's getting good psychiatric evaluations there. We'll take Island Cormac. In his uh, orange armor now. And. Oh, well, I guess we're gonna have to take another sniper. Mm, we'll take Polo Dash. Okay, then, let's equip people's. We're not gonna give you a scout and shoot. Fuck it right off. We'll give you a late pistol. And we will give you an arc thrower. Hopefully, you'll be able to. Catch someone off guard. Well, someone needs. Uh, are these all spider suits? I think they are, actually. Just quickly check. That's, that's carapace. No, you'll get a skeleton suit. Spider suit. And you'll also get the different type of armor deco. So it's a bit easy for me to tell. Though, so, I want to change your color because you're a little bit too close to Spartan Cupcake. Uh, sorry, um, breakfast item. Eh, let's go for that one. There we go. And that means I can give you the carapace. There we are. Now, I should be able to give you a laser weapon as well. And we'll keep you with the grenade. 
It's just a shame that we don't have another sniper weapon. But this will have to do. Right then. It's a pretty tough looking squad. Let's just hope they... It's a small scout, so there's not going to be many people there. So this may be... Well, we'll definitely get a lot of Illyrium. Hopefully completely undamaged navigation computer, things like that. Let's begin the assault. We're heading Operation to the next Unceasing Breath. Okay. Reports indicate the UFO set down in a sparsely populated area. We need to stay sharp and eliminate the invaders. Indeed we do. And avoid being eliminated ourselves. Okay, a daytime mission. I like these ones. Though, why we can't just, I don't know, strap a bunch of bombs to the bottom of the Sky Ranger and just kind of hover over the battlefield, this dropping bombs on the enemy? I don't know. I read you, Big Sky. Okay. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. Let's have a look around. Oh, we're in the water. Let's move forward a bit. Right. The only advantage the skeleton suit is going to be giving our troops in this particular fight is that they're going to have a lot of movement. Um, and we don't have any idea where these enemies are going to be. We know that this is the edge of the map there. And let's check out on this side. And there's the edge of the map there. There's more map in that direction than this one. And how far back does this go? Okay, the, the UFO is almost certainly going to be up there. But we're going to take a bit of a route up and around, I think. Come at it from the side. Uh, breakfast item. Let's get you up there. Cormac. Mr. Ma. Putting you in the front is a bit of a silly thing to do with a sniper, but it's always a bit hard to get initial positioning just off the Sky Ranger. Africa, November. Um, there's literally no cover for you. So you're going to just have to dash to keep with the group. You're also our, the person who's going to be trying for the stuns, if you're able to. I'm not going to throw your life away for it, but I will be taking you out there. I don't want to put the other sniper there as well. Very silly. I'll put you over there. I will be looking for opportunities, but I'm obviously not just going to throw you away for the sake of getting a, a possibility to stun something. Put everyone into Overwatch and see what the aliens do. They may be quite close, but they usually aren't in these initial turns. Sounded like mutants, and I don't know, sounded almost like machinery. Wouldn't be surprised if we see a cyber disk. I really hope we don't. But after that sound, I wouldn't be too surprised. Oh, can I have our heavy move forward? Stay in the heavy cover, though. Polar Dash. Oh, I, I said Knark here, but uh, it's Polar Dash I brought. My bad. I do apologize. Okay. Oh, it's really annoying with the camera is this close to the back. Because it keeps panning up. Oh, well, panning down, sorry. It becomes really sluggish when it does. Alright, let's get Island Cormac up far. Yeah, we can just duck you in behind this tree here. And finally, let's get breakfast item up with the rest of the group. Again, I don't really want to put you somewhere you don't have cover. But at the same time, putting four people there is just... It's literally asking them to throw a grenade at me. Okay. Everyone into Overwatch, please. 
I've said this before, but I really do wish that Overwatch would stay in the same position each time. So that I could just know if I hit two, I'm always telling them to Overwatch. Okay. There's something out there. I'm not sure if the original game had sound, like uh, in in terms of would advise you if your men hear the sound, and thus you could locate the enemy from that. I don't think it did. I might be remembering that wrong though. But I know the UFO series of games had several different ways of sensing an alien, and the reason why I say sensing rather than seeing or hearing. Is that they were quite a few different ways. You could equip them with um, night vision. You give them infrared. You could have psionics, and they would sense the minds of of people moving around. Obviously, only living things. It was actually really, really cool because it made you play the game in a very different way. Right, we'll give the aliens an opportunity to. Uh, advance on us and get shot in the face a couple of times. But I do need to fan my men out a little bit. Because if there are mutants, they're the only ones I've seen so far who've thrown alien grenades. Them and cyber discs, obviously. And if there are cyber discs here, then that's even worse because they seem to do more damage. But they, they, it's a very cautious game so far. Both sides are unwilling to make the first move. Alright, we need to start making a move forward, so... I'm afraid, as the red shirt, it is your job. Okay, cool. You're not dead. This is very good news. Move you forward as well. You can move up to here. I'm afraid at this point I need to move Johnny Marr and the others forward. There we go. We're nice and fanned out now, at least. Oh dear. Uh, Polar Dash, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm so used to the uh, female sniper being now, oh dear. Right. Swap to your pistol. Did I give you a laser pistol? I hope I did. I think I did. Yeah, I did. It says it there. Right, I need to put you with your laser pistol as well. I just keep seeing that grapple option. It's like it's taunting me. It's like, ah, you brought this horse on armor and I will not give you any use for it. Okay, he's still down that direction. Did you hear something? I hope we don't have to engage them around the UFO, because that's just going to mean that there's going to be a lot of things coming at me at once. Right, Polar Dash, I want you to basically move up to here. And then on the next turn, you'll swap to your sniper rifle and take position there for a while. Um, yeah, you move up as well. Go ahead and dash for now. Can I get you to any sort of cover? I can, actually. No. We'll keep you up here. So, having said that, I should really get my snipers up to, onto the high ground, especially Johnny Ma, because he gets the massive high ground advantage. I'll, I, in fact, I'm going to do that. It seems silly for me not to. So I'm just going to dash him over there on the next turn. Aim to get you up here. And polar dash at least there, but ideally there. I think that would be the best use of you guys for now. Move you forward. And move you forward as well. And everyone into Overwatch. Mm, 
Okay, still seems quiet enough. Moving forward just a little bit. Can we see the ship? Yes, we can. There it is. Now, I think the only good thing that we've got going for us with this particular downed craft is that it is a small scout. Let's rotate this screen a little bit so I've got that position there. That's where I want you, Mr. Mark. I won't dash him just yet, though, because I want to have French Toast move forward a little bit more. He can take a position here. I mean, I'd like to bring him up here to have a look, but I should, I suppose. Don't want to just charge Johnny Marr into a potential death trap, but the only problem is he's my medic, so I don't really want him up there. I want him with the... the ground forces who are going to be making their initial breach. Right. Let's get you up towards this point here. You're good there for now. Pull the dash. Just go ahead and dash all the way up there. We know there's nothing there. Now I'm going to have to keep Polar Dash forward a little bit more than Johnny Marr because they don't have the... I'm going to dash Johnny Marr all the way up to that one. They don't have the squad sight as Johnny Marr does, so... Whereas he's going to be able to take shots of things quite far outside his visual range. Polar Dash won't. Though, having said that, I haven't noticed whether... Daytime missions confer a better visual range than nighttime missions. One would assume they would, and certainly in the original they did. But I don't know. I haven't had enough daytime missions on this to really find out. We can but hope, I suppose. Okay. Now it gets probably going to start getting interesting. Right, let's creep forward. How much of this thing can we see? There's going to be one room, if I remember correctly. Yes, it's just a single room in this craft. But we cannot, 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 cannot assume that they're all going to be in the craft. Odds are they're going to be out and roaming, looking for... Well, no, they're not going to be looking for us, but they're going to be scattered around, I imagine. I'm just going to have you tiptoe forward. From this position, you could throw a smoke grenade easily enough, anyway. And you guys are now going to switch back to your sniper weapons, and you're probably going to stay on this hill for a little while, I hope. Sniper weapon. And there we go. Hopefully we're so close to the ship now that they're going to jump out on us. And into a hail of gunfire. Rather, laser fire. Okay, mutants, as we knew they would be. Come on now, guys. i put you all into Overwatch for a reason. Okay, lovely. Was that you, Johnny Mar? Yes, it was. Why am I not surprised? Okay then, I can probably wipe these guys out with a shredder rocket and then a regular rocket. Okay. Oh no, please don't make a bunch of people panic. Oh no. Okay, shoot him. Use your panic. Shoot. Good, good, good. Okay, that, you missed. That wasn't great. Still, better than nothing. Who else can see? Wow, okay, you're the only one that can see them. Let's go for Johnny Ma. No, no, no. Oh, it's because you've panicked, we can no longer see. Damn and blast. Okay, cool, man. Oh, no. That was not a good thing. We've got plenty of things to shoot at now, but... You know what? Let's destroy their cover. 
Won't do an awful lot of damage, but... They're no longer in cover, so we should be able to do some hefty attacks, maybe. Okay, go for it. Excellent. Well done. That's what we want to see from our rookies. And can you get the smoke grenade to... Oh, no. Okay, well, you can definitely protect these guys at least. Cover going out. so annoying that you can't see anything. Let's get you down closer. Oh, great. Now you can see things, but you can't shoot them. Okay, who have we got? Oh, him or him. Let's go for him. You might even be able to take him out. Come on, please be accurate. Oh, no! Ooh. Okay, well, you can see everyone now. May as well go for him because you've got an incredibly high base chance to critical. Finger. So smooth. The way he spoke then, it's like, yeah. Wasn't hard either. Okay, what are you going to do? Uh oh, what what have you just done? A oh, blood call. I think I remember reading that on the info thing. It makes them all a bit more powerful, something like that. Please miss. Yeah. No. Okay, you're not dead, and that's a good thing. Ah, oh, I knew it. <laughs> Stop panicking. Okay. Disabling shot. What does this do? Does up to two damage, causes target's main weapon to malfunction. Or a headshot. 60%. We're going to have a look at what the others can do first. You can see him, and that's all you can do. I can have suppression, though. That might be useful. I'm going to have a look at the others first. 15% chance. You know what? You're just going to back right out of that fight. Get out of there. Get into the smoke. Right. We've lost sight on the cyber disc, and that's a good thing, in my opinion. Skanagdia got a chance. She does. Switch to the sniper weapon. What chance have you got? Only 25 still. Go for it. Uh, Polar Dash. This is why she's missing. I keep calling her the wrong name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Unfortunately, Johnny Marr has no chance to hit him. Take the shot. Ah, oh, so close. That's really close, man. French toast. I need you, fine fellow, to supply some medications. Get on here so you're further away from a grenade shot if one comes. Don't move. You'll be fine. Okay. Who's left? Only you. Well, you're gonna go into Overwatch then. That's all I can do with you for now. No. No, straight in the head. Why do you guys get awesome aim when I'm miles away? I can't do a bloody thing. Uh, Cyberdisc main weapon. Oh, thank goodness. You're alive. Flee. Okay, get out of there. Get all the way back here. Now, who can you see? You've got 74. Hmm. 
go for it. I don't have enough of a chance to waste the headshot. Nice shot. Didn't even need to use it. Well, whatever's up there can shoot us while we're down here, so... We are going to continue to pull back. Get back there. I want you up here. No, I don't. I want someone else up there first. Chance 15. Well, that's not good enough. Get here. Full cover. Let me see. You still see him. You've got better cover than he has to take the shot. No, actually, he's got the same cover as you. Yeah. That's why we're having such trouble, I suppose. Um, you could retreat and throw a smoke grenade. I think that's exactly what you're going to do. I want this entire area covered in smoke, please. can now get back and spend the next two turns using your med kit on the very very badly wounded people here Don't move. You'll be fine. this is why supports are very important to bring along okay he's backing out and that's a good thing he's lost two of his men Right, I want you to reload your gun. I would like you to do the same thing. I don't want to put you in a position where you will be shot at too badly from there. Mm. Yeah, move back. Reload. Back online. Okay, this is the last heal that I can do. Come on, you'll be back in the fight ASAP. And that's something I really miss. Having the Sky Ranger to go back to to re-arm with med kits. Uh, I'm gonna pull you back a little bit more. Just for now. And as well, I want you to retreat a little bit more. We'll send you up there, Johnny Ma. And I'll have you reload your weapon for now. Reloaded. Okay, so this is where we are right now. It's run a, quite a lot more over the time that I was intending to. Uh, so I'm going to cut her off there. We aren't in the best position. We've got a fairly powerful enemy. Lots of mutants, a cyber disc, and a drone. The Cyberdisc has already done quite a lot of damage, but hasn't killed anyone yet. Got three crew members, quite badly wounded, though Polar Dash is the best among them, I would say. Well, Polar Dash and Cormac. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to see how this turns out. Johnny Mars always is providing the amazing fi uh, support from on high. I wouldn't be too surprised if he. Uh, Racks up a couple more kills in the next episode. So do join me to find out how this all turns out. But until then, take care.